everyone, this is Jordan from LutzLounge.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily, very easily actually, uh, create an animated GIF uh, just using normal uh, titles in Final Cut Pro. You can do a bunch of other stuff, you can do different animations, but just using regular titles, you can create a very cool text animation GIF uh, that you can use on a lot of different things. You can put it on Instagram, uh, you can put it on videos. Uh, after you export it, you can actually bring it back into Final Cut and use it for your videos. All kinds of fun stuff you can do with your GIFs as you would normally would with any other GIF. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's very simple. One thing that you will need is compressor. Uh, for this tutorial, you'll need compressor. Compressor is a program, actually here I'll have it opened up in the App Store. Uh, it is a, a, a kind of an additional program that usually uh, is, is bought when you buy Final Cut. I actually bought Final Cut, Compressor, uh, the, the sound one, I can't, it's blanking me right off the top of my head, the uh, sound stage or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, I bought Motion, so all this stuff came together. So uh, for this tutorial, if you're going to follow along, you will need Compressor. Uh, but I, I encourage you to get it anyway because it's a very good program for really crunching down files, video files, um, because uh, I've, I've had a lot of instances where I've created videos for people who've wanted to use videos for um, uh, website headers. And, you know, I would send them the full 1080p and they were asking me if I can crunch it down to a web size and they didn't want to do it, which that means that they're just lazy. But I ended up with, you know, I was able to do it very simple using compressor and it worked just fine. So for this tutorial, go ahead and get compressor and you'll be able to follow along. Uh, and it's very, very simple to use. So in here in Final Cut, we just have a normal project open, empty timeline. We're going to go to our text effects. I actually have a, a couple here that I bought. Uh, just to play around with and I'm actually gonna pull one uh, let's pull let's pull this one right here so I'm gonna go and drag that down as being our only image here our only only timeline element here and so I'm gonna go in here and, and create anything that you want to name it anything you want to change anything you want to I'm gonna just for Instagram purposes I'm gonna change it to hashtag Lutz life just make it kind of fun and it has this little graphic down at the bottom. I want to get rid of that because I don't want it on there. And there we go. So now our little animation goes like that and then it goes away. So that'll be our GIF in its entirety. So that's all we need to do to make the actual GIF in here. You can obviously, again, change it to anything you want to, colors, uh, effects, anything that you want to. But we're going to keep it simple. So here is uh, where the magic happens as far as the GIF goes. We're going to go to our destinations, uh, add a new destination. We're going to go to our share menu, and down at the bottom, you're going to see add destination. Click there, and over here in this menu, you're going to see compressor settings. I'm going to click on that and drag it over to our destinations menu, and you're greeted with this box. If you have not purchased compressor, then you will uh, get a little menu that pops up that says you'll need to purchase the program for this to actually work. So uh, if you haven't done that yet and you see compressor in there, that doesn't mean that you actually have it with Final Cut. Uh, when you drag it over and you get that message, that means you'll have to buy it. But if you see this menu, then that means you're good to go. So down here in the bottom, you're going to see uh, a couple different uh, options here, but you're going to see a category that says motion graphics. It has six settings in here. Now you can look at all these, but the main one that we're going to look at is the animated image large. You can do the same thing with the small, but I like the animated image large. A little bit more uh, resolution, a little bit more sharper of an image, but still good enough for GIF files. So I'm going to click here, click OK, and it adds it to our destinations menu. I'm going to do a slow click here just to rename it, and I'm going to call it um, animated GIF. Perfect. There we go. And click on that, and we have our settings ready to go. Back out of here, go back to our share menu, and click on animated GIF. Now this is where you can name it anything that you want to, change everything you want to like you normally would with videos that you would export. Settings menu doesn't really have anything, you, but it just brings you back to the menus that you can change here. Obviously we don't want to do that. And uh, down here in the bottom you can see that it's going to export as a GIF file, so it's going to be a GIF file once we export it. We're going to go and click next and choose the place we want to save it. I'm just going to uh, call it LUTs life and just save it to my desktop for right now click save and let it export okay our export is complete and now if i were to just preview it this is what we have you can see that it opens up it's got a transparent background and it's got everything that we want to use for gifts so 
there you go. That's as simple as it was to create a nice text effect GIF. Uh, if you have a video file, you can do the exact same thing. Pretty much this method works for uh, any, any type of video file that you want to make a GIF out of. So you can see it just keeps looping and it's, it, it's a GIF. We just made one very simple using compressor in Final Cut Pro. So uh, if you guys have any questions about this or you have any issues, please let me know. Uh, leave a, a comment down below and just let me know what you guys think. Uh, and also let me know where I can see the gifts that you created. I would love to see the kind of fun stuff that you guys do. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me in this video. Head on over to letslounge.com. I got more fun stuff over there. And I would appreciate you guys checking us out and subscribing. So thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.